and welcome to week two of NaNoWriMo. It is day five, right? Is that right? Nope, it's not. It's day six of NaNoWriMo. It is Wednesday. So last week's vlog I ended on Monday and then today I'm starting on Wednesday. So obviously Tuesday I did not vlog at all. I also didn't write at all on Tuesday. Um, and there are a few reasons for that, but I don't think I'm going to get into them right now because I have a lot to do this morning and I just want to get started on that. I don't want to sit here talking to the camera forever, but later tonight I will fill you in on kind of how I was feeling and some breakthroughs I've had. But for now, I'm going to take a break because I have been working for a few hours. I still have a little while before we have to leave for work, so I don't know if I'll write anymore today before work, but I do have a live write-in tonight at my local library from 6 to 8, so I'm definitely going to get some words written then, but of course I don't want to just like count on that <laughs> because if I for some reason don't end up writing a lot, then that would really suck. So <laughs> I want to try to hit my word count goal before I even go there so that that all of the words I write there will be like extra. That would be really nice. But for now I'm gonna take a break, take a shower, do my hair and makeup and such, get ready for the day. Um, I've been watching 911. I just started that yesterday. I've been wanting to watch that show for a long time and I just haven't tried it yet. <laughs> and so yesterday I decided to start it and I really, really like it. It's a little bit cheesy. The acting isn't the greatest, but I just, yeah, I really like it and I'm excited to have that as a reward for writing for a few hours this, hours this morning. I get to watch some of that while I get ready for the day and then see if I have any more time to write before we have to leave for work. So we'll see. Hey guys, so I am on my way to the library for our first NaNoWriMo live write-in with my regional group. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about yesterday. Oops, whoa, there's not enough room for you here, car. What the heck? Anyway, <laughs> I uh, wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my experience yesterday um, because I feel like with last week's vlog, I kind of, there were a few parts that I had to cut out. One was because the sound was just totally off, and the other one was like, it was just a really long clip of me rambling about something that wasn't super important, so I didn't want it to be too long. Um, so I cut it out, but I realized by the end of it that I kind of ended up cutting out all of the parts that were about me like having a hard time with NaNoWriMo and I've actually had a really hard time with it so I felt like it wasn't entirely like honest and um and open about my experience so I wanted to talk about that a little bit um yesterday in particular was kind of the culmination of all of my stress about NaNoWriMo I just the problem is I was really, really not confident about my story at all, and just in general not confident in my writing ability at all, and I was having major imposter syndrome. I've been having that for like weeks or even, I would say maybe even months, maybe that's part of why I haven't really written a lot in the last few months, um, and I was just feeling really, really depressed and not just about this, but depressed in general and, and feeling like crap. And, um, so I took some time and spent some time with the Lord in my Bible. And, um, while I was doing that, my husband was reading the first two chapters of my book that I'm working on right now to give me some feedback because I wanted someone who is going to be honest to just say, please tell me, does this actually suck as hard as I think it does? 
or am I just being like way too critical on myself and he read it and like I know my husband my husband is incredibly honest he's like me in that he's very uncomfortable with any kind of like half truths or saying something that's like not really true but it'll make you feel good for a moment like neither of us are comfortable with that so I know that he's someone I can come to for honest feedback and he read it (laughs) read the first two chapters and he told me that it made him cry and that it was really good and he told me like some specific parts that he really liked and that made him feel connected to the characters and it was funny because one of one of the parts he mentioned was actually something that I just read back a couple days ago and I was like oh that's so stupid that that's such a stupid line and it's so cheesy and and I really almost deleted it like I almost cut it out and that was the first part that he was like, I really liked this part because it made me feel like this person is a real person and, you know, I could see their mannerisms. And so basically all of his feedback just made me realize that maybe I'm just being too hard on myself. So after he read those chapters, I took the rest of the night yesterday. Um, I didn't write any new words yesterday at all. I took the rest of the night just reading back what I've already written with fresh eyes and with the ability, by the grace of God, honestly, because I've been trying to do this for weeks and I just, like, feel like I literally couldn't, but for some reason, this time, I was able to read it back with fresh eyes and, and actually see that I really like it, and it's not terrible. It doesn't suck. It's not all cheesy and stupid. It's good. Like, I'm, I'm a good writer. I know what good writing looks like, and I don't know why. I've just been really hard on myself, but anyway, I just wanted to, like, talk about that for a minute because I feel like I haven't really said any of that in last week's vlog because I ended up cutting out all the clips where I happened to talk about this and also address that I didn't write any words yesterday. I took the day completely off because I was feeling like crap about myself, feeling like my story just sucks and I don't know how to write and I just couldn't write in that frame of mind. It was just making it not fun and it was really stressful and thank the Lord (laughs) that is over, at least for the moment. Um, Today has been going really well. I've written about a thousand words this morning, which you saw. I didn't write any more after that, but I am headed to the write-in now, which is two hours long. So hopefully I'll be able to focus and get some more words in. I only need 715 words, I think, left today. But of course, more is always better. So Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I'm really happy that that kind of slump of writer's block and imposter syndrome is kind of over for now, and I can really enjoy this story because every time I talk to my husband about how crappy I feel about the story, he's like, well, do you just not like it? Like, maybe you just shouldn't be writing this. And every time he says that, I'm like, no, I love it. Like, when I sit here and daydream about these characters in this story... It makes me so happy, and I really want to write this. I just can't for some reason. So, thankfully, that seems to be over for now. Um, So, I'm going to go into the library and get some writing done. Alright, guys. So, I am headed back home from the library. We did our writing, or I was going to say writing sprints, but... I mean, we did, like, one writing sprint, but mostly we just sat together and wrote for two hours and I wrote 1800 words so with my 1000 words from this morning that's 2800 words for today which is like so freaking awesome I'm really really pleased with that I'm also really happy with the chapter I'm working on right now because it's like the first date between two of my characters Charlotte and Bryce and it's just really cute Anyway, that is where I'm at right now, and I'm almost home. 
So I'm going to sign up for off for tonight. It is Wednesday, November 6th, day 6 of NaNoWriMo, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. So I updated my Nano word count, and I'm at 9975. And if you look down here on my schedule, it says that I'm supposed to be at 10,002 words for today. So I didn't quite make it, but I am, like, super close, which is pretty good for having not written anything at all yesterday. So I am no longer ahead of schedule, but I'm pretty much right on schedule. I'm less than 100 words away from being on schedule, so... We'll see how tomorrow goes. Hopefully I can catch up and then also get a little bit more cushion before the weekend because I have a lot going on this weekend. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is day seven of NaNoWriMo. It's about 6.30 in the morning and I have some things I need to get ready for work. And then after that, I will see how much time I have to write. So, let's do it. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to open up my computer and hop on Athena G's live stream. I think she has one today. Oh, no, she doesn't actually. Well, never mind then. I'll see if someone's live streaming. <laughs> and if anyone's streaming, then I will hop on there and do some writing sprints. Maybe I'll just do this anyway. Do some writing sprints and then on the breaks... I will get my work stuff ready. That way it's a little bit more of an efficient use of my time instead of getting all my work stuff ready and then sitting down to write because sometimes I want to take a break in between little sprints. So that's the plan. You guys, I am really excited. <laughs> so I did a bunch of writing sprints this morning. I did like 15 minutes writing and then a five minute break in between those sprints to get some work supplies together. And I have already written 1,743 words this morning. So I've already met the minimum, actually exceeded the minimum goal for today. So I'm really happy about that. And also I just, I'm really, really excited about the chapter I'm writing. I'm like just about to get to a first kiss scene ah, and it's so cute and it's killing me that I have to go to work right now because I want to just keep writing but I will definitely be getting back to this probably tonight because I'm just so excited about this scene and I want to finish it. So yeah, things are going really well. Look at our little kitty friend we met today. Hello. Hello, sweet one. <clears throat> He's very sweet. He likes to be pet. Oh, baby boy. <laughs> Climbing all the way up me. You must be someone's cat. Nearby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, um, after I want to do your introduction, because we skipped that part first. Yeah, everybody, it's me, I forgot what I was getting ready to say, but um, yay, my book shadow comes out in a couple more days. Hello, everybody, it is Saturday, day 9 of NaNoWriMo, and I am headed to the author fair. There's a little uh, local author fair happening today in my city and I wanted to go check it out because I've never seen it before but I think I'd like to try to participate in it next year so I kind of wanted to see what it's like. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to, there's a yard sale. Okay, first I'm going to this yard sale so I'll be right back. You guys, I'm super glad I stopped at that yard sale because the prices were absurdly good. Like, I got a whole big huge box full of, like, Christmas bows for presents and stuff for a dollar. 
which I was just trying to buy a bow for my husband or my uh, nephew's birthday present the other day and it was like two dollars for one bow and I was like no <laughs> I don't need to put a bow on his present and that whole box was a dollar for like I don't know like maybe a hundred of them or probably less than that but probably like 50 maybe but anyway now I'm headed to the author fair so I'm gonna check that out and then after that we have another live write-in for our NaNoWriMo group in my region so I'm gonna head to the cafe where they're gonna be meeting I'll probably be there before everybody else but that's okay because I also have to leave before it's over to go to my nephew's birthday party. So today I just have a lot going on. And then after my nephew's birthday party, we have marriage group. So it's just a lot today, <laughs> but I'm happy that one of the things I have going on today is a write-in so that I can get some words down. Anyway, I'm almost to the author fair now, so I'll let you guys know how that went. Actually, I probably won't check in in between this and going to the write-in because I want to mull over some thoughts on the drive there so that I'm prepared for what I have to write. So I'll check in with you guys later. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? You guys have no idea how often I say that in my head. It's just like in there constantly. So yeah, life is fun. Okay, I'll talk to you later. All right, you guys. So I just got out of the author fair and I had to check back in because I do have some things to say and I, I'm not trying to be mean at all, at all, but I will say there are some things I learned from talking to some of the people there that maybe could be good reminders for all of you guys as well, one of which is just having a really professional looking cover is a good idea and I think there are some aspects of my covers that could be a little bit better um, but for the most part I think like my book covers look to look more professional than a lot of the covers I saw at the author fair were very like homemade which is fine you can do that but like, it does kind of put people off toward reading it because it doesn't look very polished, which makes you think that the writing might not be very polished either, which isn't necessarily true because a lot of writers are really good writers, but they aren't good at art. Like, just because you're a good writer doesn't mean you're capable of making a really beautiful book cover. I'm certainly not. That's why I pay someone else to make my covers. But, so it's not necessarily true, but it is something that kind of, like, made me, made my eyes just kind of gloss over a lot of books there. And then the other thing that is really, really important if you want to sell books at an author fair like that, and I'm, please keep in mind that I'm speaking as someone who has never done this before, I, but just from observing, like, you really need to tighten up your pitch. Like, there was one woman I spoke to. I picked up a card for her book. I told her I liked the cover, and she was talking to me about it, and she just said, you know, it's about this. And she did her little pitch, and it was maybe a 30-second pitch. Told me a good amount about the book, and, and that was great. Um, but there were also quite a few people who kind of droned on and on about things that were not really like very important and I think that that's something that's easy for us to do as writers because we get caught up in the details of our own story so we're excited about these little things like oh I made a character that's like this and does this and and it's like okay I know you're excited about that but that doesn't really tell me anything about the plot of the book or whether or not I want to buy it so and it just takes a long time to like share all those little details when I'm like okay I don't even really I'm not even really interested in the plot of this book so I feel like it's probably good to kind of make your pitch 
short and sweet and to the point. And then, you know, if the person seems really interested and wants to know more, then you can kind of dive into those details. Anyway, so those are just some things that I kind of learned, which is kind of why I went to the author fair. I don't have, like, money to buy any books right now, and I don't really, honestly, maybe this is terrible of me because I'm an author and I want people to buy my books, but I don't really buy books <laughs> hardly ever. I get them from the library or on Scribd or something, but I very rarely will actually buy a book unless it's something I'm really interested in and I can't find it some other way. Like a lot of author tubers, I might buy your guys' books because if I'm interested in them, I probably won't find them at my library or like they're not going to be on Scribd if they're self-published and stuff like that. So but aside from that, I don't really buy books very much, so that wasn't my intention in going to the author fair. I kind of just wanted to see what it was like and how I think I might fit in if I were to participate in it next year. Um, I would definitely be the youngest person there by many, many, many years, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, but I think, like I said, the most important things are having a beautiful cover and just having <laughs> a tight, to the point, concise pitch for your book that you can quickly, when someone stops by, say, hey, this is what my book's about. If you're interested, let's talk more about it. Or, you know, here it is. Um, and then they can kind of decide. And also another thing is definitely to make sure to have some other way that people can find your books. Because I know the first lady I spoke to, she had a bunch of books um, and initially I didn't see any kind of like business cards out for me to just take so that I could look her up later. Um, after we talked for a while, she pulled out like a stack of cards that she had beside her, um, and gave me one, but I don't know if, if, if I would have grabbed one of those if we hadn't already been talking for a while, if I had just kind of walked by. But a lot of the other tables, I just grabbed a card right away because Personally, I'm not the kind of person who's going to buy a book on a whim. Like, I want to read about it and think about whether or not I'm interested for a little bit longer <laughs> than a few seconds while the author's staring at me. Like, that that's just kind of awkward. So, yeah, having a business card with your social media links would be also a very important tip, I think. So, anyway, that's what I learned <laughs> from looking at that author fair and I think I would like to participate next year. Sounds really fun. Um, and yeah, I'm here at the cafe to do some writing. So we'll see how that goes. I have no idea what I'm going to write because I spent the whole car ride here talking to you guys instead of thinking about my story. So anyway, this is getting stupidly long now. I could have said all of this in a way more concise fashion, like the book pitches I was talking about. I am not, see, this is why you need to prepare for what you're going to say, because and if you don't prepare and you're just talking to camera like I am, you end up talking for forever and ever, and I'm still doing it, so I'm going to go. Bye.
done at the write-in. Unfortunately, I was only able to get 680 words written, which is not a lot and definitely nowhere close to the amount I was supposed to write today. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have any time to write later because I have so much going on today. So that might be all I end up writing today. Um, sorry if my keys are jingling. I try to take them off when I'm doing these vlog clips, but sometimes I forget <laughs> until I'm already driving. Anyway, so I probably won't be able to write any more today. So this is not the best writing day, and I am a little bit behind now. But that's okay. I still have plenty of time to catch up. I'm really not that worried about it because lately I've been writing... I mean, on a good day where I have lots of writing time, I've been writing easily like 2,000 words, no problem. So I don't think it's going to be that hard for me to catch up pretty quickly. Um, but today is just not the best day for writing, which I kind of anticipated because I don't have a lot of time. So anyway, that's probably going to be it for today. I might check in later if I happen to have more time to write, but probably not. I'll probably just call it a day and talk to you guys tomorrow. Mom and Dad, I signed you up. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Just stop right there and wait for the course. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Now get that strawberry and you get the... Turning no. the controller. Yeah, that doesn't work. What? Turning the controller. No, I. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought it was this. <laughs> what? Never mind. It's the mashing. Okay. Yeah, well, mashing. I know. Okay. So you're gonna turn. Go to the left. Go to the left. Go to the left. Yeah. Left, left, left. Switch. <laughs> then, oh. Switch. Oh, well. <laughs> Are you I do not need to go this way. Are you blind? Switch. And switch. No. Oh, go, go. Switch. <laughs> There you go. Good job, you got it, you got it. Okay. Switch! Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Switch! 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 Which means, guess why I didn't update you at all yesterday. <laughs> um, so, I didn't write anything. Okay, so here's the thing. On Friday, I decided to take the day off to prepare for the really busy weekend, get the house cleaned and all that stuff. And then, on Saturday, I did write a little bit at the write-in, but I only ended up writing like 600 and 80 words, I think. So that was like way less than I was hoping I would get done. And then I didn't have any other time for the rest of the whole day to write. And then yesterday, <laughs> I also didn't have any time to write because I still had some things I had to do to prepare for Dylan's friends coming over. And I kind of had this thought, I didn't know if they were going to be playing like board games or video games or what they were going to do. And I thought, if they're playing video games, I probably don't want to play them. <laughs> so I'll probably just go in my room and do some writing or maybe go out and do some writing while he's hanging out with his friends. But instead, we ended up playing board games. And I love board games. So I stayed and played some games with Dylan and his friends. And it was really, really fun. It was a great night. And... You know, he doesn't really have his guy friends over, like, ever, <laughs> so it's actually the first time since we've been married. I've met these people before, but, like, it's really kind of the first time that I've ever, like, hung out with them. So, it was a big deal. It wasn't, like, something I could just be like, oh, we'll do that again sometime. I'll go get some writing done. Like, it was, it was worth taking the night off of writing to get to hang out with his friends. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I did yesterday. And it's been a fun weekend, but 
I have not written like freaking anything. <laughs> so today is Monday. It is almost 11 o'clock and I want to try to catch up. However, in order to catch up, I would have to write like 4,500 words today, which is, I believe, pretty much like my max that I've ever written in one day. Aside from the day that I did write over 10,000 words, but that was, I was writing like blogs, which is way easier for me to write a lot of than fiction. So as far as writing fiction goes, I've never written like 4,500 words or more than that in my life in one day. So I really, really don't think I'm going to end up writing 4,500 words today, but I'm going to write as much as I can. Um, and then I've decided that my reward for that, if I want to, I might just be too tired later, but my mom and sister are going to watch some Supernatural tonight at their house and I might go join them if I do a good job writing today. So that's kind of like a little thing I have to look forward to. But anyway, I'm going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to get some writing done and I'm not going to talk to you guys on the way there because I need to brainstorm and figure out what I'm writing. So I think that was part of my mistake on Saturday when I went to the write-in at the cafe is I didn't really take much time before I got there to actually think about what I was going to be working on. So once I started trying to work on stuff, I was just a little bit lost and it's hard for me to like brainstorm in that setting. I like to kind of like drive around and daydream for a while and then like sit down and actually know where I'm going. So on the drive, I'm going to figure out what I'm working on today and we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm done at Starbucks for now. I wrote about 1,670 words, which means I have about 2,800 words to go. So I'm going to take a little break and then head on to a different place to mix things up a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, so after I filmed that last clip, I realized that I actually don't have enough time to go somewhere else to write. I have to go home because I have to leave the house at four to go to my mom's house and it's almost two. So if my husband and I are going to eat dinner and like watch a show together before four, then we're going to have to start making dinner and stuff fairly soon-ish. Like, not super soon, but soon enough that I think it'll be better if I just go home and do some writing there. So I'm going to do that and I will pop back in with one final word count for you guys after I'm done. Um, I'm definitely not going to be able to write 2,800 words in like, I don't know, an hour or half an hour that I have left for writing today, but that's okay. We got at least enough done today to, you know, cover today's word count and then I'll just have to keep catching up, but it's all right. It's not the end of NaNo yet. It's very early on still. It's only the 11th. So we have plenty of time to catch up. I am really not worried about it at all. Um, so yeah, that's what I got going on and I will pop back in for one last clip to let you guys know how much I wrote for today officially and then I will see you guys next week. Okay, so change of plans again <laughs> because I keep changing my mind about things. Um, I just got home and decided I want to hang out with my husband more today. <laughs> so we're gonna hang out together and I'm gonna be done writing for today. So unfortunately, I pretty much only got like the bare minimum done today. Like actually not, not quite even. How much did I write? I write, I wrote 1670. So yeah, I did cover the minimum daily word count for NaNoWriMo, but I didn't catch up at all. So I still have two full days of no writing that I need to catch up on and one day where I only wrote 670 words. So that's still like another thousand words. 
So I still have a lot to catch up on, but that's okay. It's still early on and I have plenty of time, so we're gonna call it good. Also, lately I've been writing pretty well in the mornings, like before work. I've gotten like 1800 words done just in the morning. Um, and like these last few days on the weekend, I was struggling to even get to like a thousand words. So I think weekends are just kind of hard for me to write. And also it just depends on if I have like a good clear vision for a scene that I'm working on or not. But anyway, um, I'm pretty happy with what I wrote today. I'm, I'm still kind of trying to force myself to go in order, um, chronologically because I think that's the best way to do it since I'm kind of pantsing things, but that does make it sometimes a little slower because I don't yet have an idea for what comes next, so I have to kind of like figure it out as I go um, instead of skipping ahead to something I have a clearer picture of. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Thank you guys for watching this week's video, and I will see you guys next time. Um, Let's see, I already mentioned earlier, but I will remind you that I am looking for people to send me some samples of their books. So first chapter samples of books that you have that are either already published or like about to be published so that I can advertise them at my book release party. I'm going to put them together in a little booklet of author tuber book samples so that my friends and family can pick them up and read through and see if there's any books that they're interested in because reading the first chapter of a book is a great way to figure out if you like the writer's style and if the synopsis of it sounds interesting. Um, so actually that might be a good thing to send me as well is like the back blurb for your book. I might include that also so that after people read the first chapter or maybe before they can read the synopsis and see if it's even something like the genre or something that they would even be interested in. Because sometimes from a first chapter, you still don't necessarily know what the whole book is going to be about. So that would be a good idea too. Send me a synopsis as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, even though I didn't really get like a ton of writing done this week. I just had a lot of other stuff going on. And unfortunately, not a lot of stuff I could vlog either because I don't really like vlogging my friends and family without their permission, <laughs> so I usually don't. Um, but yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna go because I'm very tired and I need to just relax. So, see you guys next time and have a great week. Bye!